Well, hello. Welcome. Thank you for clicking on the video. I am your host, Nate. Today we're going to look at this 2100 square foot, really beautiful home called the Snowflower. This home is located at JM Homes here in Albany, Oregon. So, as you can see, we've got this really nice front entranceway over here. Small little recess on the entranceway. There are a couple of recess lights. We'll check that out once we get back over there. So, we got a couple things just to show you quickly on the back side if I can get to it. We've got our back door right here. On the back side over here, I can kind of climb up here a little bit and show you. We've got a back porch. Let's go ahead and head back in and uh, show you all the wonderful things this home has to offer. So now as we come up in here, you do have this really nice looking door on your entranceway. As I said, you've got some recessed lighting up there. Boy, we can't really see it there. Oh, we can kind of see it. We are at uh, J&M Homes. Once again, I'd like to say thank you for letting me come film your homes with this really nice looking living room. You got a built-in fireplace slash entertainment center. Now this is just your standard electric fireplace. Now you don't have it turned on. You do have real tile up there. Now this is just your laminate over the top there, but the rest of that is actual tile. So you've got a really nice, I mean, big living room area, I should say. And not just say nice, it is big. Now there is no den in this one. So usually your 2100 square foot homes will have a living room and a den or a family room. This doesn't have the family room, just your large living room. And in your living room, you've got this gray shiplap wall. Now, as I was said in a previous one, I like the grays, I like the darks. Out there where that shiplap wall is, is your porch. But let's check out this dining room. I mean, they've got it set up. I mean, we're talking, somebody's getting ready to have a feast. <laughs> this looks like they're getting ready to have everybody over for Thanksgiving dinner, Christmas dinner. You got really nice flooring in here. I mean, this is uh, definitely set up for entertaining. So let's come out and check, check out the size of this back porch. So this is a built-in back porch, very nice size. That door goes into your master bedroom.
Nice set of floating shelves here. A little bit of a farmhouse style with the way the kitchen and the dining room are laid out. Really nice cabinets here. So really nice pots and pans drawers. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Great big drawers there for pots and pans. I mean, you got a lot of them, actually. There is a lot of large drawers here for your pots and pans. Or whatever else. I mean, they're all drawers. They're not, not cabinets. So everything here, like I said, is a drawer that opens and, you know, obviously opens and closes. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Oh man, but all your cabinet space is up above and you have a lot of it. Very tall cabinets. So we've got a great big window above your sink here, even a transom window up above. So there is a ton of light coming in through here. Not that this is the best view, but I mean, you can see you've got a really nice view going out. And as previously stated, all that is coming out. They are updating and remodeling their lot. So a lot of this stuff that you'll see on the outside is uh, all coming out. And we've even got a small walk-in pantry here. I haven't pointed out you got this white backsplash all the way around clear up to the bottom of your cupboards bedroom number one right over here off your kitchen Nice large bedrooms. Our bathroom here. Got a decent sized counter in here. Great big vanity mirror. Really nice light fixtures up there. Storage cabinet above your toilet. So this is a good sized kids bathroom. Again, you've got a nice transom window up there. These are the nine foot ceilings all the way through this home. Now this one, they went with a slightly different tub. You've got the little armrest down in there, so this would be more of a soaker tub. Your back bedroom here is even bigger than the one we were just in. And the closet in this one isn't really any bigger than the other one, but it is almost a walk-in closet. It's a little bit deeper.
Once again, they went with that full-size door on the closet there. Back here at the end of your home is your utility room. And this one, I believe, was the water heater. Nope, this one was the coat closet or storage closet. This one is your water heater. This one back here is your furnace. And then over here we've got our full-size washer and dryer hookups. Plenty of room there. I believe you've got, that's more than enough room to probably put washer, dryer, and maybe a small chest freezer or something of that nature. A little bit of shelving above you there. You do have the built-in shoe rack, coat closet, backpack hanger. Perfect place for kids to put everything you know, when they come in. Okay, now we gotta go check out the master bedroom. So what are you thinking of the home so far? Are you liking it? What do you think you should change on it? Like I said, you've got a very large master bedroom in this home. As you can see, this is a huge bedroom. You've got three sets of windows in here, plus that door to your back porch. Nice ceiling fan. And back behind your door over here is going to be your closet. Once again, they went with that gray, rough, rough uh, looking shiplap here. And the closet's big enough, they've got two lights in here. Now I am, what, five foot ten and a half actually is what they call it. Not quite five foot ten, not quite five foot eleven. And I can just walk underneath these shelves here to give you an idea of how high they are. My head just barely touches right here as I'm trying to get underneath them. Really nice set of sinks and mirrors here. Got the multi-layered countertop there. So again, you've got a really, a lot of drawers right in here. Plenty of storage space down below. Hello, Raiden. Really nice free floating tub here, or free standing tub as they call it. It's not really floating. And a recessed back. Of course we've got the tile shower. We'll come look at that a little bit closer. And you've even got a really wide water closet. Now this door seems even wider than some of the others. So I believe, just kind of based on the way the doors are in this one, a lot of this is designed to be handicap accessible. The doors, I have seen a couple people comment that the, they seem like some of the doors are a little narrower. These are definitely wider than most. Really great tile shower in here. That's the same tile that they used around the fireplace in the living room. You 
kind of get you a close up of it. It's got that rough wood look, same as all that shiplap. So it just kind of helps go with the flow of the home. And why don't you flow on down and leave me a comment down below. What did you like about the home? What do you think you should change? What do you think about a door being right there out of your bedroom onto your porch? While you're down there, don't forget to hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications. That way you get notified every time I upload a video. And I will see you in the next one, and I do appreciate you watching. So we have successfully toured another home. Uh, the keen eye among you might notice that the camera work was a little bit different than what you're used to seeing. For those of you guys that are newer, some of you guys that have been around a while probably recognize the older camera work in the older camera. Unfortunately, I goofed. Like, I don't always make mistakes, right? <laughs> um, I was transferring all my old, or my videos, over to my new backup hard drive, because I needed a bigger backup hard drive, and realized that there was no file in this one saying that it had ever been saved. And so I went to look. I've never uploaded this video. So, so I uh, filmed this one roughly 20 months ago at J&M Homes there in Albany, Oregon and forgot to put this one up. So, my bad. Now, with that said, I know you guys want some price information on this one, so we gotta get right into it. It's a 2,100 square foot home. Now this one currently isn't on their lot anymore. Obviously, it's been almost two years. You know, they gotta keep them fresh and keep the new ones in, in stock and get rid of the old ones. So this one has been sold, but at the time I filmed it, 20 months ago, this one was going for right about $200,000 to $210,000. You know, they said it just kind of depended on where you're having it delivered. At that time, it was during COVID, and, you know, there was all these extra stupid things that they had to do to be able to set up homes and all that kind of stuff. So the price information that they gave me may not be current anymore, but that's the information that I have, and I can't get any current information off their website. So we got to go with what I got, and it's between two hundred to two hundred and ten thousand. Now I know I didn't state who the manufacturer was when I filmed this, so the manufacturer of the home was Marley, which is a division of Clayton Homes there in Oregon. But this is actually built right there in Oregon, in Marley, Oregon of all places. So <laughs> anyway. Hope y'all are enjoying the videos, and uh, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, turn on notifications, all that good stuff, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. <music>